This is a video about using OSC to control a virtual console setup in QLC+. OSC stands for Open Sound Control. It's basically a scripting language that allows one device to communicate with another device. So in our case, we're going to be using it for a virtual console that's running on QLC+, on a PC, and we're going to use a Android tablet to communicate with that software. Uh, OSC is being used extensively by a lot of corporations. You can use phones, tablets, and PCs to communicate with one another and also with various equipment such as a digital mixer. You use a tablet to control all the features on a digital mi and mixer as long as the company has made those commands uh, understandable by the mixer. And also, there are some lighting boards that are out there that also understand OSC. So you can remotely control a lighting board, which comes in very, very handy when you're on stage doing focusing and hanging lights and those kind of tasks. So anyway, to get back to this, we're going to use a template designed by on um, Touch OSC, which is an app for tablets. And, and we're going to have an Android uh, tablet and use this app to control a virtual console sliders and buttons on a PC that's running QLC+. So part one here, first thing you're going to want to do is go to my website so we can get the, the programs that we need. Um, my website address is comutinytech.com slash theater tech. That'll bring up the home page here. Then go to the tutorials page. Under QLC, you'll see a couple different downloads here. You need to right-click to get these downloads because they are XML files, and if you left-click them, it'll actually display the XML file and not download it and tell you that there's kind of there's some issues. So um, it's just as simple. Go here, right-click, and say Save Link As. This will pop up Generic 90 Demo QXW. That is the QLC file that defines what this lighting setup is going to be, what the fixtures are, um, what the virtual console looks like, etc., etc. So that's your QLC file that you'll need to use. We'll save that one. We're going to use the Touch OSC remote or remote layout that I've designed in 90 Fader. Same thing here. Right click, say Save Length As. It will pop up. It'll say QLC 90 Template. Dot touch OSC. So this is the touch OSC file that we need to get onto the tablet. And you could use this uh, OSC file on a Android tablet or on a uh, Apple tablet or phone or and either way. It'll work with anyone. The uh, definition is the same. So we've got that. And then the last thing you're going to need to do is the profile. You don't necessarily need the profile and I'll explain that once we get in but let's just go ahead and download it anyway. Again right click say save length as and this will come up it says QXI because this is an XML file. This is another file that QLC Plus needs to define what the various OSC commands are going to be recognized as being when we're using them with the virtual console. Again we'll explain all that. So that's our third file that we're going to need. Okay, now step two here is we need to get um, Touch OSC onto your tablet so that you can use this program. It's available for Apple and for Android. Uh, in this case here, I went to uh, the Google Play Store. Now you're going to want to make sure that you download. There's two different versions of this. This is the newer version. This is the older version here, Touch OSC Mark 1. I'm using an older Android tablet and this seemed like it worked better with my tablet. It should work fine with uh, newer or older tablets and my layout is designed to work with this so it should work fine. So this is the one you're going to want to download and install on your tablet, Touch OSC Mark 1. Okay, now that we've got Touch OSC downloaded to our tablet, you can see the icon here. Um, also, what you'll need to do is send the OSC, the Touch OSC file that you downloaded from my website, send that to your tablet. What I simply do is I send it via an email, it, as an attachment to an email, and then I just download it into my main uh, downloads area on my tablet so they can access that. So once you've got that file, the Touch OSC uh, file that you downloaded from my website, 
onto your tablet download area. You can open up Touch OSC here. And then we're going to go up to the top here where it says or where it says layout and touch that. And we're going to say add from file. And then just go to my downloads area on my tablet. And then you can see that it's right there, QLC 90 template touch OSC. Now I've actually downloaded that in advance while I was doing the tutorial. So you'll see it down here in the bottom, QLC 90 template. And I've actually already set that up as to be the template that we're going to be using. Just press the back button here and go back from layout. Now, the next thing we need to do is figure out the communication between the tablet and the computer. You can use a network app on your tablet to find out what all the devices are in your network. You can also use, there's some free network apps out there for your PC. Either one, you can Google that and find a network app that works for you. You can also just look it up on your PC. I just happen to know that my computer PC address that, I, that it, I'm looking for, my IP address is 10.0.0.8. So we're going to go up here and touch OSC. And our host then is going to be the PC computer. So that's 10.0.0.8. We have some port settings on here. 7700 seems to work very good for outgoing and 9000 seems to work very good for incoming and zero confirmation name just says Android local IP address. The local IP address is the address of your tablet. So again these numbers will be different from you except that you can set up the port number to be 7700 and, and this incoming to be 9000. But you need to discover your host what your IP address is of your computer and this will be displayed already for Touch OSC to tell you what that is. So those are some important numbers that you'll want to jot down. After that's done I can simply go back and say done and it will bring up the template. Okay, Step 3 in the process here is we need to get that QLC profile where that needs to go and then of course open up the QLC definition file for this uh, particular virtual console and setup. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer and in my download section I can find my QXI, that's my profile file. QLC stores this in a specific location and I'll show you where, I, at least on a Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, I think if you look at the QLC help file information there, they'll tell you where it's stored on a Mac. On a PC, I'm going to my local disk C, root, root I'm using uh, users, my username, and underneath that you'll see a QLC subfolder, and then you'll see input profiles. So they're going to want to drag and drop that touch OSC 90 profile QXI over into here, which it already exist because I had it but I'll just drag it and drop it anyway. I'll just say replace and it's in there so now we're good. Start up my QLC program say open I'm gonna to go to my downloads open up generic 90 demo open up the program and here we are we're good to go. We can see that I've got pages up here 30 faders on page 1 page 2, 30 more faders, page 3, 30 more faders, and then there's an execution page here with scene buttons and independence and some cues that I've loaded up um, ready to go. Okay, the next thing we need to do so we can get the tablet to communicate with QLC is we're going to go over to our inputs outputs page down here. Select that and you should see uh, some OSC information here. 10.0.0.8 is this computer, so that's where I want my input to be there. So I'm going to put a check mark in the input box, and I'm going to put also a check mark in the feedback box over here. Now, what you'll want to do is highlight this line by clicking on it, leave it highlighted, come down here to the toolbox and click on it. Some information is going to come up. Your input is 10.0.0.8, that's correct. 
That's this computer that I'm running the program on, Universe 1. You can do this in any one of the universes that you want it to do in. Now, these were the numbers that you had on your Android tablet or Apple tablet. Input port number 7700. Output address, make sure this is 10.0.0.20. That is the address of my tablet. So again, that number is going to be different from you. This number is going to be different, whatever your address is for your computer. This number is going to be different from you, whatever your address is for your tablet. Output ports 9000, that was something that we had on there also. This output we don't need to worry about, that's our ArtNet. So just for the demo here, I just said that we're going to be putting uh, outputting DMX information, that's lighting information, to ArtNet to that channel there. Okay? You can only select one input, one output, and one feedback. But there you're going to need to make sure you do that. So it looks like everything's set up. You can go over here to Profile, and you're going to select this. This should come up. It's slightly a longer name. It says Touch OSC Mach 1 Generic 90 Channel Profile. That's the one that you're going to want to select. That's the one that I've gone through and designed. And this will enable it to uh, communicate then with your um, program. That should be it. Should be good to go. We'll go back to Virtual Console. And now I'm going to bring up a display of the tablet so you can see both the tablet and the program at the same time. Okay, so if you've uh, done everything correctly, we should be up and able to operate here. Uh, what you're seeing now here is my uh, desktop, which I've just kind of slid over to the left here. And then this is my tablet uh, app on Touch OSC. The data is up and running. And I tried to make it look as much as I could like the Virtual Console. Now, there is one feature that we don't have available. We're not able to display the actual queue list here because QLC doesn't have that as part of their OSC commands. We're able to push all these buttons, move this dial, and these buttons up here are available. Which, and we can also activate these buttons down here to use the queue list. We just cannot see the queue list itself. So, you know, if there's a possibility if you wanted to actually use this for a performance that you could use a program like Team Viewer on your phone to, and just bring up an image of the queue list itself and then use the OSC app on your tablet to press the buttons and work through. Why would you want to do that? I've tried using Team Viewer to actually run the program itself and it seems to be a little glitchy. And QLC does have a kind of a built in web interface. That is very, very limited and it's also kind of glitchy. It seems like the best interface to use is something like just touch OSC interface. It works very, very well for it. So I'll just show you here quickly. So my tablet is up and connected. I'm in the queue control section here. If I touch scene number one, you see that it's activated and you see over on my tablet that that's highlighted that scene number one is up. I'll go to scene two, scene three. This is important why you need to have that feedback channel enabled too. So my software, it's activated my software, and my software is sending back feedback to my tablet that that is activated. If I touch the scene again, it can go away. Uh, something very important here with this particular layout that I did, make sure that you have your master intensity up here set to 100%, unless you want it less. And you can see on the tablet, I change that master intensity. Uh, fade time, if I'm using the scenes here, so I can change my fade time to four seconds. So when I go from scene one to scene two now, it'll be a four second fade. Change the fade time to zero. And when I go to scene five, that'll go in. On independent here, I just have one scene hooked up. So if you're running this now, keep in mind that if you try to tap on some of these other scenes, they won't activate because I don't have anything attached to them. And the same thing goes up the top here. I only have one function attached here. You can add additional functions and then make those work. And now just check out my video on using this template. And I believe I have up to uh, scene 10 here utilized. Let's see, 9 and 10. Yes. Using the queue list, I would simply touch on my tablet, start, pause. You can see that it's fading in scene 1. From there, I'm going to use my next button on my tablet which is over here, and I can progress through the cues. So next, next, 
my blackout will be next. I can start pause by hitting the start pause button and then continue and that scene will continue to fade in. So you could use this as a remote way to um, send your cues. I have used this when I've done shows where I wanted to be down on the floor of the theater instead of up in the booth. Again, the only drawback is that I actually can't see my cue list that's operating unless I use a program like TeamViewer to show my cue list on my phone so I can see what's going on. Now, again, uh, one of the uses I thought of for this, and we'll do stop and touch stop twice, so it'll, it'll close that all out. I can also hit stop all up here, which stops all functions. I thought of this as a way to be able to hang and focus lights too. So on my tablet, if I touch any one of these pages, it will jump to those pages here too. And watch, I'm going to make that happen right now. So now we're on page one, which is dimmers one through 30. I can just grab a dimmer now with my finger, slide it up. So I, again, I could have my PC up in the booth somewhere, but I'm down on the stage with my tablet and I can bring lights on and off with my tablet and just focus them. One little note about using this, sometimes you have to wiggle the fader a little bit to get it to come in. Like for example, I'm gonna touch fader 17, let's see what happens here. Notice that on my tablet, I touched it and it jumped up, but over here it didn't hear that command. Now if I wiggle 17, if I drop it to zero back up, it comes in. So sometimes in general what I do is just wiggle this up and down once to make sure that I've grabbed a hold of that fader. It's kind of like grabbing a hold of it. For I'm going to use fader 27 now. If I just drag it up and down a little bit, you can see that it's activated it. Um, so again, it works great as a remote. Hit the next channel page there. I can sit, I have a light on 46. I want to bring up and just check focus on that. Maybe one next door to that. Again, programming is not so much from this. But it does give you a chance if you need to get down on the stage to see where lights are hitting and being focused. I mean, technically, you could be down on the stage setting some lights up with this and maybe have an assistant up in the booth and then recording these scenes as you're setting them up because that's the only th other thing we cannot do. The uh, record features up in the top menu bar up here, record scenes and that, those are not available as OSC commands. So we can set lighting and we can do cues in that, but we can't access any of these commands because uh, QLC Plus has not included that as part of the language that the program understands as far as OSC commands goes. But, I mean, you could, like I said, have somebody running this down on the stage and then somebody up in the booth recording the scenes if it works for you. So hopefully you'll find this useful. If you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, contact me through my website,